Today I want to talk about the reason why people stay stuck. And when I say stuck, I mean stuck in a particular mood or attitude or particular situation that is not one that you want. And despite all of the desire to change and despite all of the wanting and perhaps praying that you do, there's a reason why you're stuck where you are. And that reason is you. Now I know this is a bit of tough love, it might be a bit triggering for some, but just stay with me here. This is the most important thing I can tell anyone out there. No one is coming to save you. Not the universe, not God. So all the praying you do might feel nice, might give you a lot of hope, but nothing will change until you take action. Action is what creates change, okay? Not hoping, not praying, not wanting. I don't care how bad you want things to change. It won't change until you actually start doing something about it. But here's what happens. As soon as we think about what that action is, it doesn't feel good. It's scary. It's going out of our comfort zone. So what do we do? We face the fear and we run and hide. We go back and say, nope, it's not what I want. This is scary. It doesn't, it doesn't feel good is what people will tell me. It doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel right. Of course it doesn't feel right. If you're trying to create a result you've never created before in your life, you have to learn how to be a different person because the you who is you today is not going to create a result you've never created before. You need to physically, mentally, emotionally change who you are to create that result. You cannot create something over here from the person you are today. And that is very, very uncomfortable for a lot of people. That requires a significant amount of discomfort, fear, doubt, anxiety, stress, like transformation is not pretty. It doesn't feel good. It's not it's not all it's cracked up to be. It only feels good when you get to that when you get to it. Imagine you're climbing a mountain. Climbing that mountain does not feel good, but people want the result. They want to see the vista from the top of the mountain, but they don't want to do any of the work to get there. And this is the number one problem I see with people. You want the change, you don't want to do the work. You don't want to spend the time, you don't want to spend the money, you don't want to face the fear, and you certainly do not want to let all of that doubt come up within you and you don't want to face it. That is exactly what is keeping people stuck. Transformation is not easy, it's not fun, it sucks, it hurts, it is painful. And of course, if you try to do it on your own, it's not going to happen because your brain is going to tell you, no, 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 that doesn't feel good, I'm not doing that. That's why people only change under really only one circumstance. If something terrible happens in their life and they are literally forced to, when they have some kind of terrible situation happen to them, that gives them no other choice but to face all of the anxiety, all of the stress, all of the fear, and that creates the change that they are looking for. But it doesn't have to be that way. You can change on your own accord. You can choose that you want to undergo your own transformation and do it deliberately. But what that requires of you is to face the fear, face the doubt, take action that you don't want to take. When your limiting beliefs get in the way, they're doing exactly what they're meant to be doing. They're, they're doing what they need to do to keep you stuck where you are because your comfort zone feels good. Even if you're not getting the result you want, comfort zones feel good. So many people would rather stay in the comfort zone even if it's not giving them the result that they want because the known is always better than the unknown. That is why managing your mind and emotional intelligence is extremely important. And that is why coaching is extremely important because through the power of coaching, we can learn how our brains work and what that um, steady voice in our heads is that is keeping us stuck. First, you have to bring awareness to what that is. Bring awareness to your beliefs, the good ones and the bad ones. You gotta bring awareness to the way you're wired, which is you know, pretty simple for all of us. We want to seek pleasure, avoid pain, and do things the way we've always done them before. This is all not news to anyone. We all, we all know this. The problem is, once the time comes to take action, all of a sudden, all bets are off. It's one thing to know this intellectually, guys. It is a very different thing to put it into practice. And I know this because I am one of them. I would watch 
all of the YouTube videos or read all the best self-help books and I'd be like, yeah, I get it. Cool. This is so cool. But it wasn't until I faced change in my own life and I decided to do something completely different that I had to literally step up to the plate and take the plunge. And here's the thing. If you're looking for certainty, there is no certainty. If you have some kind of faith or spiritual practice, that could help, but it's not going to save you. Only you can save you. In my confidence program, we talk about self-awareness, self-compassion, and managing emotions. Those are the three middle modules and the two ones that bookended are envisioning and success habits. But in those middle modules, we really sink our teeth into fear and doubt because that is exactly what is holding people back, fear and doubt. If you want to get unstuck from your life, you need to be able to embrace that discomfort with both arms. Failure to do so is exactly what is keeping you stuck where you are. If you want to learn more about this, if you want to dig deeper, if you want me to teach you how to face those fears, and if you're willing to get uncomfortable, let me know. I'll be happy to show you. Thanks, guys. Be well.